there, this is Stacy Phillips and this is my video log for Sunday, August 11th, 2013. Today I wanted to do a little bit of review. I wanted to review what does it mean to be on plan. Um, it's amazing the people I talk to every week uh, and even um, how what I used to consider on plan myself. Uh, and when I ask, have you been on plan this week, the, the answer is usually, oh yes, I've been, I've been on plan. Well, um, sometimes um, even starting out, it's good to review, uh, again, what on plan actually means because um, this plan is uh, clinically proven as safe and effective, um, but it was this plan that was actually proven as safe and effective. So um, to be safe and effective, we need to be following the plan that was clinically proven. <laughs> so um, what I want to do today is just briefly go over what is that plan and um, then you know kind of just answer some 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 questions that I know have gone through through my own mind as far as well what about this or what about that or is this on plan so first of all um, to let you know what my what my style is or my philosophy is um, is that we don't modify anything about um, the plan um, again the plan was proven clinically proven safe and effective um, but it was the plan and not my version of the plan or what I think would be just as good as this or that of the plan. Um, really, honestly, when we start substituting our own judgment for that of the public, the, the um, published materials of the plan, when we start substituting our own judgment, and if that judgment did not come from nutrition support but came from our own, you know, mind, um, that... It's funny how we just kind of think we're experts on everything after a week or two or three or five or two years. Uh, we just think we're experts and, and, you know, well, why not do this? Well, um, you know, how'd that work out for us uh, up, up until the time that we needed this plan? Um, how did substituting our own judgment um, work out for us as far as being really um, the dominant force in our own health? Well, we became obese. Uh, or overweight and needed this plan. So um, I know, especially with my knowledge of nutrition and this and that, you know, there are times that in my mind, um, my, what I call my fat brain gets in there and says, oh, come on, you can have a little of this, you can have a little of that. It's really not, you know, as long as you stay in the guidelines, the recommendations, the caloric, you know, 800 to 1,000 and this many carbs and this and many, you know, you know, this is not that kind of plan. We don't, kind of bring things in and just make our own version of it and go, oh, but I had this many carbs, but I had this many, you know, um, it might have been a bag of M&Ms, but then I didn't have any carbs for the rest of the day. I mean, it should be okay, right? So, you know, I want, I want to just stop that tendency and just let you know that A, we're all human. We all want to have something um, to, to, uh, to add. You know, we all want to, to, to be relevant in our own journeys. And we, but we are relevant. We are the most relevant factor in our own journeys. And that relevance and that decision comes by submitting fully to the plan. Not the one we come up with, but the one that was clinically proven safe and effective. So let me go through a little bit um, just quickly what, um, what the plan is. Um, it is five of the portion controlled meal replacements, okay? Um, five of the portion controlled meal replacements and um, one uh, lean and green. So, you know, we, you can look at that and go, well, what are the portion control meal replacements? Well, that's the plan. That's, that's the plan that we do. Um, and you can email me for more information as to which plan that is. But most of you who are watching this video already know, um, and that's great, and you're doing it. Um, then you, you've got to choose... Um, your lean portion, okay? Because in addition to five of the portion control meal replacements that you will have spaced out every two to three hours in your day, and I would say two and a half to three hours uh, during your day for optimal blood sugar stabilization, um, you always eat within an hour of waking up. That's like primo. Uh, get your metabolism, you know, stoked and burning for the day. Otherwise, it's just kind of going to be asleep until you feed it. Um, and you don't want that. So uh, then your lean and green is going to be either seven six or five ounces measured when it's cooked of lean protein and only choose um, the protein that is on your list. Um, ham is not on the list. Uh, bacon is not on the list. There are lots of things that are not on the list, 
Um, so the best thing to figure out what is on the list is to go ahead and review it again and limit your choices to that which is on the list. Measure your cooked protein. Don't eyeball it and call it good. Um, one of the great things about this plan is it is a protein sparing plan. It's a lean body mass sparing plan, but it only works and means it protects your muscle from excessive catabolization due to the calorie deficit. This plan protects your muscle. It does not excessively catabolize or eat your muscle. Now, the reason it can do that is because of the amount of protein that has been scientifically put into this plan. If you are shortchanging yourself with your lean, you are upsetting that process and there are no guarantees uh, as far as what, your, what, what ratio of lean body mass you're going to be losing. So I would recommend that you follow the plan, get out your food scale, get an inexpensive one uh, from you know any retailer online or, or brick and mortar, just a very inexpensive food scale and start weighing your protein. If that means you cook everything up at the beginning of the week and put it in the freezer, then do that. Um, I would recommend it actually and, and I would also recommend that as many lean and greens as can be are lean and greens that you prepare yourself. Um, you know, can you go out to a restaurant? Absolutely. Can you enjoy a meal out with your family or where you're traveling? Yes, you can. The only thing is that you are not in 100% control of that meal or the method of cooking. Whereas at home, you can use pan spray uh, and, and then add your healthy fats afterwards. Um, because if you add your healthy fats to the cooking process, you don't know how much was absorbed in, into the meat. And so my recommendation is to spray with Pam, utilize uh, the cooking spray, just a quick spray, and cook your meat, and then you add your healthy fat on top of your meat or with your green. But make sure you get that healthy fat in. That healthy fat is just as important as the rest of the guidelines. So don't ignore that. Um, so you can choose 7 ounces, 6 ounces, or 5 ounces of a lean protein that is on the list and you weigh it in its cooked form. Um, the green portion is three servings of the approved vegetables. Now the vegetables are not just any non-starchy vegetable. Um, it does say enjoy three stir servings of non-starchy vegetables, raw, steamed, grilled, baked, or boiled, not fried. However, um, there, are, there are still a list um, because some people don't understand that, that a certain vegetable is starchy and they'll think, well, that's not, you know, it's not a potato, so why can't I have it? But there are, you know, you'll see that there are things that are not on this list. Um, their carrots are not on the list. They're too high glycemic. Corn, not on the list. Too high glycemic. Peas, not on the list. Too high glycemic. So there, you've got to stick to the list uh, in order to get the best results, um, in order to get the clinically proven results, really. So um, you choose three servings of vegetables. Now, a serving of vegetable is one half cup measured, um, cooked or raw, whatever form you're eating it in, one half cup, and you get three servings daily. Now that is unless you are choosing a leafy green like a salad, uh, you know, like romaine or iceberg lettuce, those would be one cup is one serving. So if your entire serving of green is uh, three um, cups of salad, that's, you know, three servings. Now, if you're going to mix and match, then you can mix and match. But always remember, you have three servings of vegetables, and all vegetables except the leafy green uh, salad-type vegetables will be one half cup is one serving. So you'll have three of those a day. Um, adding your healthy fat, always add your healthy fat depending on what protein you chose. So really review your quick start guide because these, you know, people think, well, that doesn't really matter. Yes, it does. <laughs> it actually really matters. So um, condiments and seasonings, enjoy up to three servings a day. And this gives you also a, a, an idea of what those condiments and servings um, uh, and seasonings are. Now, there is an expanded um, list of, of items that I can always email you. If you email me, I can email you the PDF to that. Um, the optional snack, it says snacks are not to be eaten in place of the portion control meal replacements. So don't um, look at the healthy snacks and go the optional snack and say, okay, I can have that in place of one of my meals. You, that's not how it operates. Bear in mind that this plan um, was developed for six foot four ex linebackers who have very active jobs uh, presently, uh, and it was also developed for, you know, five foot two little shorty shorties. Uh, like me, I'm, I think I'm 5'3", but I, don't know, I haven't measured lately. Um, 
shorty shorties like me who, well, up until recently, have, have been, you know, ra rather sedentary. Um, now, I might not need the optional snack. I don't utilize the optional snack unless I am really hungry. And guess what? I never am, so I don't utilize the optional snack. Um, now, the six foot four linebacker, you might need it, but start out without the optional snack in your plan. That's what I would do, and that's what I've done in the past when I, when I was restarting without the optional snack. And go for your three days, get into fat burning, and see if you even need it. Um, it's, it's, for me, I haven't found it necessary, but it is available to you if you find that it that you do need it. Um, so that's it, really. Um, that is it. Uh, as far as exercise goes, if you've not been exercising prior to starting, don't start um, for at least three weeks. And really, um, if you have been exercising regularly before beginning the plan, then um, make sure to cut your duration and intensity in, fully in half uh, for the first three weeks. Um, and then on week four, then you can start to incorporate your duration and intensity again, provided you don't go over 45 minutes because um, this plan does allow for up to 45 minutes of moderate activity um, per day, but not, not beyond that. So, um, and uh, for me, you know, I'm, I, I don't want to give this kind of advice, really, it's as far as exercise advice on this video, that's not what this, this is for. Um, I really worked on getting my weight off first before I really started a formal exercise program. And by getting my weight off, I mean I was in the overweight category instead of the obese category before I really began to um, to to really uh, look into uh, exercise and start to really love it in that way. But was I moving a lot? Yeah, I was moving a lot, incorporating activity into my day, um, all of that after the first three weeks. So um, that's really it. That's 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 what on plan is. This is a super long one today, but I just wanted, thought it was really important to go over the guidelines. Um, if it's not in the book, don't don't do it. Um, that's my that's my suggestion. You know, uh, if you ask me, well, what about this? I'm going to say, well, what does the Quick Start Guide say? Um, because I I counsel I, I counsel that guide, and um, that is where the results can be found. So remember, do not modify. Do not modify. Do not modify. Don't substitute your judgment for the judgment of the plan. Just surrender, really, to it. A lot of us don't like that word, especially as, as regards our food. Uh, we don't like that word uh, at all. <laughs> so it, it may be an, an issue that you need to work on um, is your surrendering capabilities that um, the experts who, who wrote this plan and who um, developed it really knew what they were doing, and they do. Countless thousands and thousands of people who have had success um, can tell you that, including myself. So, you know, with that being said, um, you know, have a great rest of your Sunday, and I'm going to have my, um, my optional snack right now. Oh, what? This, not, what? We, it's not a plan, you say? Oh, come on, it's my wine. Oh, well, you're right, though, it's not. Here, I'm trying to substitute my judgment for that of the plan. And uh, guess what? Red wine is not on plan. No, there's no kind of alcohol on plan at all. Not even to be worked in on occasion if you're in the weight loss phase. So I will set this aside until I am in maintenance. And uh, I will for sure enjoy it then. But until then, I am on plan. I am on the plan, not my plan. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.